Good morning. My first vo Tuesday video in a little while. First chance I've had to do one, really. Did you know that most of your bad shots come because of something you did before you started the backswing? It could be grip, stance, aim, posture, ball position, hand position, high or low, weight distribution, spine angle, all manner of things we can get wrong before we even move the club head away from the ball. So we always blame kind of like the golf swing for our bad shot, but it could be something before you start the golf swing. I have a pre-shot routine and I would recommend that everybody has a pre-shot routine, a means of getting stood by the golf ball correctly the same way each and every time. Let's find a tee and I'll show you mine. Well, as I'm a fader of the ball, I generally use the right hand side of the tee box so I can aim down the left. And then I step back and I have my loosener. I don't call this a practice swing because it's nothing really like my real swing. Now, years ago, I used to stand sideways on and stare down at the target as I am doing now and picking a spot in front of the ball to aim over. I then spend my time trying to get this club pointing the right way before I step into it and there you are, I'm a little bit open so I'm aiming down the left. Last look at the target and here we go. Now from behind the camera is now in the way. So my practice swing is sort of off to one side and I'm always worried about the camera focusing on me and then not refocusing when I reposition. But again, I'm staring at my target and I'm putting that target in my mind and I've picked my spot to aim over. There we go, ever so slightly open. Back again for another go. Sometimes I'll then take my loosener off to one side, then try and sneak in to pick up my line. And as you've seen on video, it doesn't always work out. There's always a compromise with the camera being where it is. So there's a big difference when I don't have a camera in the way and when I've got a camera in the way. I kind of like got to do everything from the side which can compromise what I'm doing and that's generally why you see me aiming the wrong way and swinging the wrong way and everything. So if you can get yourself a pre-shot routine of some description, I'm not asking you to copy me exactly. You've got to find your own way. Some way that when you get set up to the ball, your club head is pointing at your target. And it doesn't matter if your target is in the left rough and you're gonna fade it back, or your target is in the right rough and you're gonna draw it round. Or if it's an iron into the green and you're aiming at the right edge of the green or the left edge of the green. You just want this thing pointing the right way and for you to be parallel to it and to have everything from the grip, the ball position, your body position. You just want to be able to repeat that. And if you can repeat that, find some way of getting to the ball the same every time, you're going to be more consistent. So you're going to find an odd, you're going to find an extra fairway or two. You'll find an extra green or two, and undoubtedly, you drop your score by a shot or two, maybe even three. I mean, if if you really stink at getting set up to the ball, and you're shooting 95, you certainly drop below 90 just by getting everything correct. And the best way to do that 
is go and see a pro and then go and rehearse it. Go and stand in your back garden, put a tee peg down two feet in front of the ball to aim at and do it in your back garden. Aim at a fence post and you never know, golf might suddenly become a little bit easier. Cheerio! Good morning! My first Tuesday video in a little while. First time I've had real chance. Bollocks. Good morning! My first Tuesday video in a while. First time I've had a little bit of chance to do one. Oh, bollocks. Good morning! My first Tuesday video in a little while. I haven't had a chance to do one before this. Anyway. Oh!